Hey there, folks. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome to my bee yard here in southeast Louisiana. Remember guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd surely appreciate it. It really does help the video get out to those people out there searching for uh, bee videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and you know when we upload videos. So as you might have noticed, I've already been working this morning. I got out early this morning. You know we're already hot. It's March 27th, 2021. It's already starting to warm up here in Louisiana. So it'll be up in the 80s today. It's gonna be a good hot one, but that's okay. It's a good break from winter and the bees are rolling. So I've got these new boxes and what I have, just like behind me, is some singles out there that are gonna need these. Got all triple coated acorn foundation in there. I got brand new frames and I'm ready to put them in. Also, I've gotta do some checks on some queens. So here's what it is today. It is two weeks after the second round of splits. I only split four the first time, four on the second round. First four were four for four on queens. Um, and those are the ones I put one round of feed on them already. It may be gone, it may not. We're going to get the deeps on, seed one frame up so that we can get them rolling up in the top. And we need to check the cells that we put in two weeks ago. Uh, I'll wait 14 days. 10 to 14 is good in my opinion, but I'll wait 14 days and we see if we've got a lane queen and we know our cell was successful since those are on their three week mark uh it's time to get a deep and feed them on up we are busy folks come on let's go out here and take a look at these things hi folks so so we're going to look at this one real quick because i do want to see the frame up and what i want to do is mark my queen if i see her all right let's get them on up i need to bring my stool out here so they're packing in nectar and when they begin to pack this nectar and we want to give them more room although mm -hmm. here you see how they're packing sugar water and nectar there's really almost a whole gallon of sugar water left they'll take that nectar over that sugar water any day but I want to see how much brood she's got now that she's a fresh queen yeah see there there's her pollen frame now this is a dark queen. It's going to be kind of difficult to find her, but let me see. See, there's a... Okay, so they're using that bee bread. It's not full of bee bread anymore. You don't want them to backfill their nest, especially with this brand new queen. Uh, she's got a lot of different stages of larvae in there. Oh, yeah, there's a nice frame. All right, that one's full of larvae. Looking for the queen at the same time. All right, this is a sign of our brand new queen that we got out of Mississippi. Let's look, and I'll take that. Wouldn't y'all? And it's full of larvae all the way around it, so that's what we want. So I'd say we might not put a box on them just yet, because I've got to move this hive, and honestly, I'm going to give them another. They, they're not packed. I'm not going to lay a box on here just yet. This is a brand new frame and it is slam full of eggs. I expect to see her. I'm telling you, y'all should be able to see this with this. Uh, I don't know if I get the sun in there or not. That thing is full of eggs. So she's getting after. The other side of the frame is slam full of eggs as well. They don't need, in my opinion, a second box yet. There's still plenty of brood to come out. One thing about down here, you can't just add boxes crazy like at any time you feel like it. Uh, if you're not careful, you'll give the bees so much real estate to guard for beetles. It's a serious thing down here. Let's see what these look like. About 
thanks, huh? Uh, let's see what they're filling up. You got a couple. Now, people ask me about the bees getting nasty. You know what? A lot of times, you, you're hearing it worse than I am because they're like now they're like all over that microphone. For me, they're not over all over me like that. All right, these guys aren't ready yet either. In fact, they're they're barely even full of nectar. So, but we'll see if we can see the queen. We'll mark her real quick. If I remember right, she was a little easier to spot. She was that caramel colored queen, and that's full of brood, small baby brood. She might very well, that's all milk brood. There she is. See, she's caramel colored. So we're gonna go ahead and mark her. If I can catch her. So I just take his marker tube, and I'll throw it on there like so, and I'll, I'll ease her up in there. Take my time with it, because I've done learn the hard way. You can really foul up. Now let me get my pen ready. I just ease her up in there. I'm leaning over trying to do this. Let's get her thorax in there. Oh, there it is. That's good enough. Let her dry off. And I don't know that's necessary. I see the big guys just mark her and throw her back in, but we'll let her dry off. And that's it. She's putting in some brood. Uh, looking at the hive. Another one that can wait. I don't think they're ready for a deep yet. So I'm going to hold off on putting deep on these two. And they're getting moved probably tonight. So they've got space. They're not taking their feed uh, too heavily right now, so we're going to let them do what they do. Let's let the queen go. There she goes. All right, guys. Here's one of uh, those four that two weeks ago we split them and added a queen. And we have to see if she got out and got mated. Oh goodness, that's a problem. So that's an emergency cell. Let's see if we let's see why they're building that. There's a problem here with that queen then. And if I'm looking at it, it's close. So let's look and see. We don't want to twist it and bang it around too much. Let's see what happened here. And that's fine, I mean as long as we they had eggs in here, so if they went queenless, they might have decided to not accept that cell. So we got to check. Let's see what we got. So one thing for sure is, if we don't have a lane queen, we do have a cell in here, so we're safe. So I'm looking. There she is. There's a virgin right there. Oh, so you see her? That's a virgin queen. She's not mated. Yeah, she's not mated. She's flighty. We need to put her back. Let's leave her there for now. I want to see what we got. There has to be another cell in here that she came out of because the other one would have been mated by now, so... So there's our couple we put in, and look right next to it, another emergency cell. And they've torn the cup one down. I'm going to leave the cup in there just for reference, I know, but it looks to me like, for whatever reason, uh, they didn't accept that cell, or that cell might have been dead. They still had some eggs in this frame, in this hive when we first split it, so looks like they made a queen. 
And you see the bees, how well they're covering that frame? They're cleaning the pot. They're, they're ready for her. And she was sticking her head in some. And they're all over this cage knowing she's in there. And she is frantic. She wants out. So I'm going to hurry up. Something else I noticed. See, look at her. They, they know. That's, that, they, they're good with her. Something else I noticed. Uh, the cells are being completely polished and cleaned. You can see how shiny and polished they are. So they, they are ready for her. Now we gotta let her go and hope she doesn't fly. They are terrible about flying away when they're like this. Come on out of there. Alright folks, so our cell didn't necessarily take on that one, but that's okay. Um, they made emergency cells for whatever reason. They had eggs. They were only left queenless actually for about three hours. Uh, so it, it must have been they just didn't accept the cell. Or or the cell could have had a, a dead queen in it. That happens from time to time. So, you know, no guarantee on them. So anyway, the, the promising thing is they did make a queen. Um, it's gonna put this hive a little bit more behind, but she's out, she's running around. All we know is it's promising. It's not a dud at this point, and we're just gonna leave it alone. And honestly, I'll leave it alone probably two more weeks, to be honest. I, there's no sense in messing with it. It's not going to go any further. Uh, the only concern we got to have is if they load too much nectar in it. But um, they know what they're doing. We'll let them go, and we'll keep an eye on If they do, we'll give them some space, move some frames around, and open it up for them. Well, we got some bees. Uh... I don't like what they're doing here. They're building comb into my other frame, so I'm gonna put a little smoke on this end. I'm gonna go from this side here. It's gonna be in front of the camera a little bit, but hmm. I don't remember that particular drone frame, but I see a cell. We may have the same situation here. You see that? That was a cell. Right there. Not looking good for this one either. It's like they didn't take the queen cell. That's what I'm, almost like what I'm seeing. Like they didn't accept it. I'm actually looking for more. There's definitely no brood in here. So we definitely don't have a mated queen at this point. So I'm very carefully looking for a virgin. A def, I want to. There's the cell that we put in. And I only saw that one emergency cell that appeared. What was nice about the other hive is knowing we had a virgin out and about and a couple extra cells. This one, I'm not seeing any cells. There's some old emergency cells. We, we've we got a virgin here, guarantee you. You see those? So there were emergency cells in here. Look at the bee bread, my goodness, and the honey. But, and they're polishing cells, so we've got a virgin. I'm confident of it. All these cells are torn down. There's got to be one in here somewhere. So when she comes back mated, she'll have places to lay. We're gonna, we're gonna leave them. Another week to 10 days. So for whatever reason, the second batch of cells so far, two of them, they did not accept and made emergency cells. They were only queenless three hours. It wasn't like, you know, they, they had cells in here. And the cell that I gave them was a day from emerging. There, there's, there's more. Look. Look at there. And look at the drone brood on here. All right, so we're going to leave this hive alone. Maybe they used an older egg. I'm not sure. But what I know is there's either a virgin in here or we're getting ready to have a virgin. So this one is almost panning out like a walkaway split. So this one did not work out as well as the others. But that's okay. 
That is all right. Because, you know what? They're not hopelessly queenless. And that's what we don't want. There's a good amount of little bees in here. Polished, very polished cells. All polished up. There's where the old cup was. I'm seeing polished cells. So that's telling me that they're preparing for a queen. And all these hives, none of them have been ornery stressed. None of them have uh, been humming real loud. Wait a minute. Let's see. So when you're hopelessly queenless or you or they know they're not, you know, they're not able to make one, that's when they really get crazy. Alright, we got eggs in this one. So that's why we're seeing clean polished cells. We've got eggs. So we got a queen in this one somewhere. Okay, so this one took. We got a lane queen. Now we've had some rain. That could have uh, delayed. That's why maybe we're not seeing milk brood. Rain could have delayed the mating flights. We have had a lot of rain lately. Uh, for whatever reason, she's she's not that far along. But we got eggs again. Single eggs, every hole. That's what we want. You ever heard people talk about not cracking the tops where they pop real loud? How does somebody do that? I've never been able to do that. I don't understand that. They're gonna pop. In the summer, they're not. When it's cold. They're gonna pop. They're gonna pop. Oh, let's take a look at these ladies. Oh, big old thing of bee bread. See that bee bread? A lot of dark green. Good moist bee bread. That's 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 a good sign. Uh, I see it. I see some more cells on this one. See that little emergency cell? And I see an emerge cell. This is very interesting. This is an interesting situation. And and that one that we just looked at, it very well could have been an emergency. There's an emergency cell. There's one that's been emerged. Definitely seeing something different with these versus the other ones. Again, it's not a huge deal. I mean, we're getting land queens. We've got time to build them up. They're flat laying in the nectar, and that's a sign that they've got no brood going in when they're just filling up the nectar everywhere. The brood emerges. They're not repolishing it. They're very, very calm. That's a good sign. Nice. There's some more. Look, emerged. So we've got a, another one with probably a virgin queen in here. Yeah. There's where our cell was, and right next to it, a sideways emergency cell. been 14 days since we put the cells in so we know based on timing that these cells are still alive that our queen didn't take so out of three of these they made emergency cells oh yeah there's one right there didn't even see that one so two of them I'm gonna open one this one here I'm gonna open because it's no good anyway it looks it looks I'm curious to see what's in it. See, I can't even open it. Oh yeah, there she is. So, let's look at this queen. Boy, they look at her. They're pulling her out. She was ready to emerge, huh? Boy, that... Look at that bee stinging her. Or getting on her. Look at that. Look how they're doing when I open that cell and that queen rear end sticking out. Look at them. Biting and pulling on her. And they're very, very calm. And that could be bad that I opened it, but it's not a big deal. There are several more in here. Look, they won't they won't let go. I now they're attacking me. They're mad. They don't. That is something else. Look.
look, they don't want, they are trying to tear her to pieces. She was, look at how they do. Isn't that interesting? So we'll, we'll let them deal with that. I, they're as, as calm as they are. I really believe they've got a virgin queen in here. Where they're happy with the cells that they got. I'm going to leave them alone for now. I do want to look at one. I'm, I'm going to look for her. And I'm curious how much nectar they're putting in. Now they'll use some of this nectar. Oh, there you go. There she is right there. There's a virgin right there. Right there. Y'all see her? I got her right in the camera right there. Brand new. Brand new. I'm gonna leave her alone. I hope it got her because I don't want to fool with her too much. There you go. So I want to show you these uh, these hedges that we got here and show you what we got coming here pretty quick. We've had steady nectar now for about three weeks. And it's off of all the clovers and uh, these purple bugle looking flowers and the trees and all kinds of different wildflowers uh, uh, butterweed in the ditches i didn't see a lot of wild mustard this year coming out of winter um, but anyway three weeks we've had a an okay just steady little flow of nectar where they're putting it in the hives and they are growing i had some drawn out comb on that little bit of a flow without putting any feed on them and the feed buckets I got on these splits, they're not really even, they're, they're barely touching it. So, uh, granted they're small hives, but they're, or colonies, but they're barely touching it. But let me show you this, what we got right here. So, what this is, is privet hedge. It's a wild ligustrum, that's what it is. You see the blooms coming out? These buds right here, rather? These will be blooms probably, I guess, in about three weeks. And I said it was, what, the 27th today? So that's right on schedule, provided we don't get a freeze. We've had it years where the freeze has come and it's knocked it out. We've had it other years where it's just bloomed intermittently. So we've got to hope that it blooms. And this wild ligustrum, it's a privet hedge. You, you'll see the domesticated sunshine ligustrums. They don't propagate like these. Very invasive, but it makes a very, very light, light floral honey. It's real close to... Uh, the yopon look at that caterpillar hiding in there looks like a cocoon almost no that's a caterpillar but uh some people here uh the uh, old school folks they they'll call these uh wild yopons so yeah last week's queens okay i got three out of four marked um you, you, we went through two of them um then I checked the other four, and I've got to say, that was a bit odd. Uh, so all in all, if you think about it though, out of eight, we've got six, I mean, uh, uh, five that all have lane queens. That's good. Um, the other three have, two of them have virgins we saw, and plenty of cells, and one has cells, I'm sure there's a virgin because we saw a cell open. So. It's not the end of the world, it just puts them behind more. Kind of what I wanted to avoid was getting cells, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. We're still ahead. I'm still ahead because the cells went in. Uh, she gets mated first week of April now, so that's not bad. Um, gives us about a month, about six weeks before the main flow to really get them up into a second deep. If we get a good privet flow, we can get them up in a second deep. Between that and feeding, if we don't get a good privet flow, then sugar water will go on them for sure. Right now, you can tell there's a flow. They're not taking the syrup. Uh, they've they've taken very little syrup. They're little hives or little colonies rather, but they they're they're taking just a little bit, uh, and that's okay. That's that's good enough. We'll leave it on there and let them take what they can. And if it begins to get too old, I'll toss it and uh, let the rest of the bees feed off of it somewhere in the grass. Other than that, I think uh, we're looking okay for splits. The only difference in what I did was I waited three to four hours before putting the cells in, and the ones the week before I waited one hour I got four for four on those I don't think that's the issue I don't know what the issue was maybe they weren't um, good Queens I don't know I don't know the one that had just eggs and no milk brood meaning there were no 
Well, I didn't look that close, but there weren't any eggs that had been out for more than two or three days because I saw no milky larvae anywhere. Uh, all I saw was eggs. So that still had to be the queen we bought because uh, if they had made cells, that would have been a whole, you know, it, in other words, they wouldn't have made them fast enough. The timing isn't right for them to have made emergency cells and come out. Those eggs are from the cell, so one cell did take. Um, why she's so late could have been the weather for her mating flights. We did have some rough weather, so gotta gotta remember those things. Cool weather, things like that. We had some days last week. Um, yeah, matter of fact, last week we had about the time she should have been on her mating flight. We had two 50 degree and 40 degree afternoons where it stayed like that all day and was windy and dreary. So that's probably what happened to her. Um, but the other the other ones are a mystery. But who knows? We've got queens coming. It's all well and good. All right, guys. Well, once again, if you like the video, I sure appreciate you watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help this video get out to those people out there searching for bee videos. And again, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. If you ring that notification bell, you know every time I upload a video. And folks, don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. May Lord God bless you. See y'all later.